Hey guys, what's up? It's Enzo Denny here. Um, I've just watched a video um, on Alpha Gaming's channel um, showing a really cool little fade in effect for your camera for stock OBS. Um, I believe this will probably work with uh, Streamlabs the way he's done it with the, Al uh, the Algato Stream Deck. Um, I've found a similar way to do it, but not with a Stream Deck. Um, you can use free software like Auto Hotkey or if you have a uh, Razer keyboard um, or a Razer mouse, uh, you can you can bind it to one of those keys using the Razer Synapse macros. Um, it, so yeah, there's two ways to do it, uh, or three ways. You can either use something like Algato Stream Deck. Uh, if you've got a Razer product, um, you can do it through the Razer Synapse, which is one of the ways, which is the way I've done it. Or you, if you haven't got either and you just want to have, you've got you know a plain mouse, plain keyboard. Um, you can use something called Auto Hotkey, which is a free bit of software, and it will do the exact same thing. It you press a kit button and it runs a macro. Um, very straightforward stuff. Um, let me quickly show you the uh, how he's done it. So if I open up Fortnite, just so I've got it open in the background. So if I press F2, you'll see it will switch to my scene, and then my camera will fade in just after that so it's, it's really cool really cool effect um and basically the way he's done it is there's sort of an offset um so if i sh share my screen and you can see my screen so on let me open up studio mode just so it doesn't actually switch scene so on i've basically duplicated my live scene so i've got a live scene initial with no webcam and i've got a live scene final with a webcam um, everything else is the same apart from on the transition override I have my stinger which is my nine fading in and on live scene final um, I have a transition override of a fade set to two seconds um, again really really simple to set up within OBS um, you then need uh, sorry, I'm on uh, Alpha Gaming's Twitter. So f you will now need to download this command line tool for OBS WebSockets. Um, I'll link to this in the description below, and that way it's uh, got it. Um, and then once you've got this this command line tool, um, you'll download it. It will end up uh, on your downloads. Uh, if I can go to downloads, so it'll end up in your downloads as a zip folder. Once you unzip it, you'll end up with these two files, uh, this folder and this file here. If you haven't got OBS WebSockets installed, install it. It only can take a couple of seconds. And then copy this OBS command folder to your C drive. So if you go back to my C drive, you'll see it right here, OBS command. Um, once you've copied it here, if you right click on this PC, go to properties, go to advanced system settings, and then go to environmental variables. Under system variables, there's a variable called path. You edit that and add the location of your OBS command folder. When you run the commands in the command prompt, so for instance, when you run the commands here, you can literally type OBS command, then the command. Uh, it's as simple as that, and it just makes life easier rather than having to enter the, the entire path every single time. Um, so in Razer Synapse, this is the way I've got it set up. I run a command to open cmd.exe. I then type in um, the OBS command, so OBS command.exe uh, slash scene, uh, and then the scene equals the scene name of the initial scene. So it'll be live scene initial. Uh, press enter, and then three seconds later, it will type in live scene final, and then press enter. And this is purely because my stinger animation is quite long, um, so it, it doesn't work. So you, you may need to mess around with it a little bit, uh, adjust the timings. Um, so instead of three seconds, you might need only two seconds, etc. Anyway, so after three seconds, it will type in this, press enter, type exit, and press enter. And that will basically close the command line. Um, really, really, really cool little macro with a nice effect as well. It adds a hint of uh, flair to the to the to your whole stream um so yeah once you've got all of that done um it's, it's as simple as that you set up a, a key so for me i've got f2 
that was my previous bind to switch to my live scene anyway so it's just natural for me to use that again um and yeah that is it's, it's as easy as that as easy as literally as easy as that um if i go back to my intermission screen you'll be able to see my face again so that's my stinger um so yeah it's as easy as that i'll, I'll link to auto hotkeys i'll link to the obs uh command line uh razor sun apps if you've already got it you you sh if you've got a product you'll normally already have it it normally installs automatically when you plug in a razor product just remember that if you are using razor sun apps that has to be running else your macro won't run um and i'll link to alpha gaming's video just so for for reference purposes so you can see exactly how he done it um yeah i, I believe that's it um head off i'm gonna make full use of this uh little fade see if i can find out any other little animations that, that look good um and yeah thank you very much for watching i'll catch you around cheers